Hello guys, Matthew McHugh here, just doing an unboxing of the new iPad. It's not the 4th gen, but it's basically the same because there's not much difference apart from a better camera and stuff. I, I have already unboxed this, but you know, it's still in good quality apart from the screen's cracked, but you can't really tell. So, here we go. So if you look, you've got iPad there. Site says iPad. Apple iPad, iCloud, a lot of details there. I've got a 16 gigabyte model. Comes with, that's the packaging. Comes with um, 10 watt adapter, power adapter, UK plug socket, um, USB to 30 pin, and the iPad, and some documentation. That's some boxes thing, so it just lifts the top off. Like so. You can see there it's quite soft, so the screen don't get matched and there's the barcode, well, sort of thing. Check it away, and there's the iPad. Obviously when you get it, it'll be, it'll be covered in plastic and it'll be completely clean, but obviously mine isn't clean. So I'll take a look about it in a minute, put it out of the way. And this is, what's in, this is what is inside the box, so you get in here, just that, and a little bit of paper. You get this UK plug adapter. Obviously, this is the UK version. Trying to focus that. Oh well, that's that anyway. Wonderful. Then you get your 10 watt power adapter. This is because the iPad takes a lot of uh, charge and stuff, so it needs a big battery to hold it. Like if you did it with iPods and you just plugged your 30 pin connector, 30 pin to USB into the computer and it would charge. This won't, so it needs a 10 watt power adapter, so that just clicks in like that. You can get loads of other ones for China and USA and stuff like that. And then here we have the documentation. Here, yeah. just says designed by Apple in California there. And you just lift this tab out. If you've got a 3G version, there'd be a little pin thing here. So inside this, you just fold it, and you get a little keynote saying what all the buttons do, website information on the back, um, a how to use guide, but I guess no one reads this, so it's obvious what you do, and then you get, obviously, two Apple stickers, I don't really use them, but hey ho, and then I'd actually had to stellitate this down, but this would just come wrapped in like a little band or something. Can't get the stellar tape off. Sorry, it's a bit neat, isn't it? Right. Do that. There you go. That just comes off like that. Now, the new iPad, the fourth gen, this is the third gen, it'll have the lightning, which is like 80% thinner than that, smaller. And it just a bit faster, I think. Oh, sorry, I've just got cramp on the leg. Ah! Right, okay, I'm fine. Oh, no, no. Right. So let's look at the iPad. That's obviously what we're going for. Here you have a... I think it's a 0 0.3 megapixel VGA camera or something like that. Not the best, but on the new iPad you get HD uh, 1.2 megapixels. Here you have the ambient light sensor, which I'm not actually sure what he does. But home button there. And on the side here we have the lock, rotation, slash, mute button, which you can change. Got volume up and down button. Top you have your on button, or sleep wake button. Your microphone there, very small but very powerful. 30 pin head jack, nothing on that side. If you did have the 3G version however, um, there would be like a little slot there for you. 3G thing, which you just get on the phones and stuff, it's the same thing. And obviously there you can see the 3G, the 30 pin connector, and the mono speaker. If you did have the lightning, that would be a lightning, obviously. On the back, you have the 5 megapixel eyesight camera, which is great in light. Not very really good in low light, but still great in light. The Apple logo, iPad and stuff. So what I don't get is the white, word, the white version of the white border, but yet yeah, they're black. I think they need to think about that. Kill the finger marks. That's after a lot of time, by the way. So, yeah. 
Um, a review. Wait there, no, I'm just opening it. It's the third. It was the first iPad with a uh, Retina display, and it is great. I must admit. I've also updated it to iOS 6, so you get Maps, which is new, Clock, which is new on here, um, and lots of other things. But apart from that, yeah, it's really good. Camera's good. There's the camera. The only thing I don't like is when you do videos, it zooms in a bit. But it's, yeah, it's basic. So, that's my iPad unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Not very long. Bye-bye. And subscribe to my page, by the way, because I would appreciate that. Thank you. And there will also be an iPod Nano 7 generation unboxing soon as well. So, thank you very much. And I might also be doing some the new review on the Apple AirPods. So, bye-bye.